Coming up on today's show. The quarterfinals begin as USA take on Nigeria. It's an all-European clash as Belgium face France. And we show you the top five plays of the night. From 16 of the world's best, we're now down to just eight. Welcome to Tenerife. Welcome to the quarterfinals. Last year's Eurobasket runners-up France were looking to book their spot in the semi-finals, but standing in their way was Belgium. It's the first time we are looking around the corner at, uh, on a big tournament like this. Uh, the French team is always uh, in big tournaments, so uh, European Championship, World Championship, Olympic Games, they are always there. So for our team it's a uh, big experience to be here, so uh, to play in the first eight. But I really think I have, we have uh, a chance today, so and we will do the utmost to, to, uh, to go into the semi-finals. We saw Belgium play a classic the other night. They upset Spain, and now here they are against France. So, which France are we going to see today? The, the, the France that is among the top teams in the world, or the France team that has had struggled for, for results? Uh, have the ball first, and Gruda gets blocked from behind by Linskins. Messerman on the baseline. Alamon from deep, and that three-pointer. Touch one for three. Oh, that is... Right on time for France. Johannes for three. There's Marie Johannes. The VIP. Oh, oh, let it find Mestag underneath. Time and time again. And a Mestag. Alamon going hard to the basket, out to Hannah Mestag, good! Well, if it's not one Mestag, it's another. Alamon this time delivering to Messerman. Short to do, oh! A star is born, unbelievable. Here she is, Kim Mestag, another one! And Julie Van Lu goes in and again. Everything a layup drill for Belgium. She won't miss this. Mestag, goodness me! <laughs> Has Belgium got a women's basketball team to pull for or what? This is really good, uh, going in up to the locker room with 20 points up, so uh, this is really amazing. We played a great first half, but uh, it's not over because I renew the French team, they, uh, they can bounce back really well. First half, it's very difficult because we didn't all, all the one-on-one -on -one and uh, Belgium scored 53 points, it's, it's impossible to win a game like that. If we can survive the first five minutes, and um, you never know if even when we can make a 5-0, I think we can kill the game and that's uh, our plan. And Messerman goes in. Where is France? And finally, something positive. Chechuan. Mia for three. That's two in a row for her. And Philip Mestag has seen enough. Ayayi for three. Over the shoulder pass, and now Johannes up to Bernice, and you can feel the comeback coming, and also Carbrio having a look. And the pass to the cutter, Messerman blocked by Bernice. 
Davies. Michelle almost took it away. Mestag, oh, she did a great job. Twisting and turning. Oh, a three-pointer. Alamon drives in. Famous, famous night for Belgian women's basketball, the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. And Carpio hits the three at the end. She's going to enjoy it. So are the Belgian teammates. And Belgian basketball overall. No, folks, we're not kidding you. Belgium have made it to the semifinals. This is just history and history day after day. Uh, we definitely didn't expect this starting this tournament that we would be in the semifinals. I, I don't know what to say. We just didn't play the way we are supposed to play. We are way better than what we showed tonight. So, because we know France is a is a good country, they would fight back. Uh, but we were able to calm our nerves and we finished the job. Two-time defending champions USA continued the quarter-final action when they faced the surprise package of the competition, Nigeria. I mean, you, you'd always like to, to play the best in the world. And our girls are excited about it. Um, we're looking forward to it. We've prepared to do our very, very best. And we're not looking just to be here. We're going to try to win. A lot of uh, people are buzzing about women's basketball here in Tenerife. They love to come and watch teams like USA and uh, the surprise package that is Nigeria. How many people would have predicted that Nigeria would have made it this far in this competition? Here's Akatur going right at Brianna Stewart. Boy, she did so and lived to tell the tale. Goodness me, Stewart and Reiner had her sandwich, and I'm like, what does she think she's doing? And then she scored. But well, here she is. Gets the pass from Tarazi. Lucky situation for Nigeria and Kalu. And nice uh, response by Okoye. He should be happy, shouldn't he? Our coach is ever. Oh, there he is. It was a punch out. Entry pass, Imovio, good! But take nothing away from Nigeria. They've started brilliantly. Oh, there's the SWAT machine, Deladon that time. Deladon gets it to Griner, who's back in, and she hands it off to Charles. Easy peasy for Della Dawn. Makamura. A long two. Well, they showed some promise for that shot, didn't they? Brianna Stewart for three. And the USA are in front despite this very difficult first half. You know, defensively, I like what we're doing. We only allow 23 points, but it's our offense that has to get kick started. So we made some minor adjustments, so hopefully we can um, we can open the game up a little bit. But we know that Nigeria is not going to sit down and allow us to just walk over them. I thought we fought well. I thought we were a little hesitant. We're not looking at the basket, and we can't give second shots. We got to get back in transition. We're doing really pretty good in all the categories. We just got to hold on and do better. The USA are going to start things off with an inbounds play that leads to a layup. at the line, gets it right back. Eight point lead for the USA, Tarazi on the break and scores and the lead has ballooned to 10 points. Last pass over to Elena Deladon. And the floodgates starting to open here as we anticipated. 
Alu takes on Plum. And now Plum, her pass intercepted by Kalu, bounce pass. And nice play from Emopio. But Kalu taking advantage. Jewel Lloyd gets swatted. Bird for three. Good. Tuck. Bam. Three pointer. Here's a Guma King. 69 40. After trailing 17 9 at the end of the first quarter, they pull away. They win it 71 40 over Nigeria to advance to the semifinals. First half was tough. I think we had a lot of layups that just didn't go in. Um, we weren't too concerned about it. We were happy with our defense, and we knew offense was going to come. We got to the quarterfinals, so it is. Nobody expected us to be here, and we did anyway. So I'm thankful to God for that. Uh, we're going to come back next time. So Nigeria exit the competition after a fairy tale run, and they take with them one of the most enthusiastic ventures in Tenerife. USA's win over Nigeria sets them up for an epic semi-final tie against Belgium. In their first ever World Cup, Belgium have now beaten the third and second best teams on the globe and will be aiming for the scalp of the number one team on the planet on Saturday. But the USA are the defending champions for a reason. With the Americans pushing to capture their 10th World Cup, Belgium know that they'll have to go above and beyond when they take on the tournament favourites. This is really a dream. So uh, I know the American team is uh, really strong. Normally we don't have a chance, but okay, we will play and we will see after. This is a, a dream come true for all of us. I don't think starting playing basketball we would ever play the USA and, and tomorrow it's going to happen. So it's just a game that we're going to enjoy. Coming up in part two, Australia face China for a place in the semi-finals. Post Spain take on Canada for the last spot in the final four. And we've got the top five plays of the quarterfinals. The quarterfinals continued with China in the hunt for a semi final place, but standing in their way was an unbeaten Australia. It's a really good opportunity for our young team to play with one of the strongest teams in the world. This is uh, knockout time. Who is going to stay alive? Xiao Ting gets it inside. And Big Lee is blocked by Big Pam Mage. Big Allen, that's a good sign for Australia. The Opals. Lee Ming just says, gets swatted by Cam Mage. And Cam Mage is fired up. Xiao Ting, Cha Ting. She's on the board. Big Allen. Three. Now Beck Allen looks off the pass. Goodness me, has she elevated her play in this World Cup? She has come out today. And the point of the Jenna O'Hay. And she scores with a reverse layup. That must feel good for her. Taylor Francis. Oh, another soul-destroying three-pointer. Ebsery hits the shot while being fouled. Oh. Wow. Back out. A little 
runner on the baseline. No, she dumps it to Alana Smith. We want to make sure we keep getting better. You know, the more time we spend together, that we get better. There's things we need to tidy up, so I'm just looking for a, a little cleaner game and then fix up the errors. But uh, yeah, we'll stay focused. Look at this pass to Cambagian. Cambage just lays it up and in. Look at Talbot. Oh, that's a big rejection from Big Hind. Well, that's something to build on for China. Here she is. Oh, but she got taken to school that time by Lee. There's Sun for three. Go look now, but Sun starting to heat up. Long has the ball batted away. Now here's Test Magin on the break. Smith, Talbot. Oh boy, that was big. Talbot's re-entry. Boy, what a great grab by Bunt. Ends up with Whitcomb getting it. Man, that was a uh, that was a turnover waiting to happen, but Button made sure that she got her hands on it and passed it out. The Opals uh, sending out a message today, folks. They may just be for real. They win it, 83 to 42 over China, and they advance to the semifinals. Wow, good work! And now it's time to put this one behind and get ready for tomorrow. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough game, but we just had to come out, take it quarter by quarter. Um, we're lucky we had a really good first quarter and kept it going from there. They are so strong, but we didn't play very well today. At the beginning, we are so nervous and we didn't play very well in our offense. And uh, Cambridge is so strong, we didn't um, cancel her to catch ball in the, um, in the middle. So this uh, made us to lose the game. You know, another day, another... Another game to get better, so I'm very happy. I'm very happy we're moving on to the next stage. Host nation Spain were looking to seal their spot in the semi-finals in front of their home fans. But they faced the tough challenge of an informed Canada. Oh, we have to slow them down, you know, they can get pretty dynamic in the open court, but we still want to play fast ourselves. We, we, we want to, you know, leverage some of our speed and athleticism, so get out and run and make it a fast-paced game. the game between Canada and Spain. Spain trying to break tradition and trying to be the first team here to advance to the semifinals after having to go through the qualification for the quarterfinals. Good! Torrens! Crochet, bounce pass off, beautiful play and finish by Rancourt. Going all the way in and gets a chance for a three point play. The nurse has had a great tournament. Here she is putting up the jumper and hitting it. Plow that's on line. That's a three pointer. Boy, to, to say they needed a basket. it up and in. Casas up ahead to Indoor. Much better. Here she is, getting it down low and puts it up and in. Bow to kill, pump fake, goes in with the left hand. with their biggest lead of the game, three points. Back to Torrance, zigzags her way in, puts it up. Yeah. It's, oh, she gets rejected by Miranda Ayim. We'll 
Jones has it, gets it over to a Yeem as he banks it in. Goodness me, what time is it? We're happy with the position we're in right now. Obviously, we'd love to be ahead, but uh, we feel we're in good shape. Yes. We struggled scoring points because they are a tough team. We will look to keep our aggression and to keep playing against their strong players. Nurse off. Hey, it's good. I thought it was off to the left. Casas drives in. And gets a trip to the line for an and one. Indoor for three. Big shot for Spain. How good has she been for them off the bench? And now Nurse. Oh, she just goes all the way up. And she ties it at 42. Gonna go all the way. Are they gonna count it? Yes, they do. Pull out down low, indoor again. Casas drives in and breaks it in. Spain starting to get an extra bounce in their step. Casas. Sprints down, makes the shot. Jargon, oh, nine points to lead now for Spain. Casas makes it another one. This game is starting to get away from Canada now. So 68-53, Spain beat Canada to advance to the semifinals. Maravilloso. It's awesome because Canada were a medal team. We won against a medal contender. We are again among the four best teams in the world. It's something incredible. Yeah, I mean, we went on a huge scoring drought. We just could not get the ball to go in the basket. And, uh, you know, Spain, that's why they're second in the world. I mean, they went on a run, they knocked down some tough shots, and we just had a really hard time getting anything going at the offensive end. I love that small fight. They were super us and pushing us uh, with hands up. It was like the most motivation, like you have like, like these people, they were pushing you back, like behind, but it was like fantastic. Spain's hugely impressive victory over Canada now pits them up against perennial contenders Australia in the semi-finals. Despite being pushed all the way by Canada, host Spain will be buoyed on by their adoring fans when they take on their oceanic rivals in the final four. Meanwhile, after their emphatic triumph over China, the Opals have now cruised to their fourth consecutive win in the tournament and are once again in the hunt for the medals as centre Liz Cambage continues to impose her will on the opposition. Yeah, yeah, I know. They are a good team, they are a good player and so Cambage, she leads the team every time. We're going to do our best and figure out the team, the staff, what they can do to stop the Australian team. You know, Spain, you, never, you can't underestimate them, especially obviously in their home country. Australia has the most determined players in this World Cup. We will try our best. It's clear Australia are a good team with Cambridge or without her. But they will have her and we will try. So the reigning champions USA will continue their hunt for a third World Cup in a row when they face Belgium, as the hosts take on Australia. Here is a look back at the top five plays of the night. Okay, again, breaks a little bit of rain this time, hits it. Lee Ming scores with the layup. Lee Ming just says, gets swatted by Cam Mays, and Cam Mays is fired up. Casas, sprints down, makes the shot! Who's going to step up in the difficult
difficult moments. You just never know, and on this occasion, it has been Casas. Alamon this time delivering to Lesovic. We'll see you next time for all the excitement of the semi-finals.